flag raising begins at 8 a.m. prompt every weekday here at the United Nations. There are 196 in total, so that's a flag for the United Nations and for every member state. And so that includes a flag for the People's Republic of China. And we're going to see that being put up now. So we've got some nice weather for the flag raising today. The sun has uh, just come up here in New York. It's not very windy, so we may not see this flag flapping around, but still uh, some nice weather for the flag raising today. Now, these flags here are in alphabetical order. So China sits between Chile and Colombia. Each flag's the same size, which is 123 by 183 centimeters. So that's four feet by six feet. The flags go up every day, except for weekends. Uh, and during uh, bad weather, they don't put them up either. But they are left up all through the General Assembly's high level week in September. Now, all the member states are represented here, as well as the flags of two non-member states. Uh, that's the Holy See and Palestine. China's flag has been flown here since 1971, uh, after all member states of the General Assembly voted in October of that year to recognise the People's Republic of China as the only legitimate representative of China to the United Nations. This is the seat from where China takes place in debates in the General Assembly Hall. We have these uh, two rows of seats, there's a microphone to take part in the debate, an earpiece so you can listen to the translation of other people speaking. And most importantly, the sign here lit up to let everyone else know which delegation is sitting here. Now, member states are seated in here uh, by country in alphabetical order. Uh, when the General Assembly elects its president each year, the Secretary General uh, draws lots to see who gets seat number one over in that corner, then everyone else is seated in order after that. This year, it's Suriname over in seat number one. So this is where China is seated for this session of the General Assembly. This is the booth overlooking the uh, General Assembly Hall where the Chinese Interpretation Service translates speeches that are happening as part of the debate. Translators listen to the speeches of delegates on the floor of the General Assembly and translate them into one of the six official UN languages, which are Chinese, English, French, Russian, Spanish and Arabic. Mandarin Chinese has been one of the official languages of the UN since 1946, the year after the UN was founded. And April the 20th of every year is Chinese Language Day at the UN. 